Have you ever wanted to create a focus mode on your Apple Watch Ultra or your iPhone? Let's take a look and see how I created my fitness focus mode for my Ultra. I'm starting today's video with the details of my fitness focus mode I've created primarily for my Apple Watch Ultra. Start by going to your settings app on your iPhone and choose or search focus. It will bring you to the page with your current list of focus modes. I'm choosing my fitness focus mode. From there, you will see the main screen and options for this focus mode. The first section will cover who or what apps can send you messages and notifications while this mode is turned on. We're going to first look at the people section. You can either choose to silence or allow notifications from contacts here by simply adding them to this page. Next, we look at the app page where you can again either silence or allow notification from the apps you choose from your list. There's also a time sensitive option which allows apps not on your list to send notifications that are marked as time sensitive immediately. The options section gives you the ability to show silence notifications on the lock screen, dim the lock screen when the mode is on, and hide notification badges on the home screen. On the next section, you can only choose which watch face you would like on the mode. The color and complications can be changed on the watch app or directly from the Ultra. Also on the customized screen section, you can change your lock screen to whatever you want and edit the apps you see on your home screen when this focus mode is activated. I'll turn on my fitness focus mode to show you a quick look at how my home screen looks. I have fitness and battery widgets and some fitness apps I may use during a workout. Notice I only have one page of apps, but I can still search my app library. This flexibility isn't necessary for all focus modes, but it's a cool option to have. The fitness focus mode is set up to turn on when I start a workout. I have the action button on my watch configured to start a strength workout so the one click option is very nice. I'll demonstrate this later in the video. You can also set your focus mode to turn on by schedule, location, or other apps. The final part of the focus setup is the filter section. You will have the option to filter conversations and messages, filter certain calendars which could be good for like a work focus. Also filter inboxes from the mail app and filter tab groups from Safari. Lastly, you can set the appearance to light or dark and also have the low power mode turn on during a focus mode. I appreciate you supporting the video and channel. If you haven't already liked the video, please do it and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content. Share it with your friends and leave me a comment if you have any questions or even requests for future content. Thank you again. Now let's look at how to make changes to your watch face on your ultra or regular Apple watch. You can also make these changes on the iPhone's watch app if you need to. Keep in mind you have to select the watch face in your focus mode settings to link it to the selected focus mode. In this case, we're talking about my fitness focus mode. As you see in the video, you can change the background, color, and complications that you would like on your watch face. I've been looking at some of the modular watch faces for my fitness watch face, but I ultimately went with just the regular modular face. The main reason I did this is it gives me access to five complications, which works great for my fitness workflow. Take a look at my normal watch face and iPhone home screen. Notice what happens when I select the action button to start a strength workout on my Ultra. The iPhone home screen updates to the fitness mode and turns blue with my fitness related apps. Also the Ultra updates to the modular watch face. The watch face for my fitness focus mode has workouts, Spotify for music and podcasts, the timer for my rest periods during the workout, and also activity and heart rate monitor. These specific apps work pretty well for me whether I'm just lifting weights or going on a run.
When I end a workout which turns off the fitness focus mode, notice the iPhone changes back to my normal iPhone home screen and apps. The Ultra also changes back to its normal watch face. It's really nice how both devices go back to their normal setup when you turn off the focus mode. I'm showing you on this clip how to start the focus mode manually on your Ultra or Apple Watch. Swipe up from the bottom of your watch face and select the focus mode option. Mine defaults to the do not disturb option here. So notice the iPhone and watch face changes to my fitness focus mode options just like before. The only difference here is I would have to manually start a workout next. To get out of the focus mode, do the same thing and your phone and watch are back to normal. On this last clip, take a quick look at how to create a focus mode from the custom option. If you choose this, you can name the mode and even select an icon for it. As you see in the footage, it uses most of the same options we went over before. Enjoy the rest of the video. Hopefully you picked up a few tips from today's video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment for me and don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Have a great week. I'll see you in a few days.